Hello, hello. Today we make a very interesting uh, matter. Yeah, I hope you can see this. This is one of my last uh, master cellos. Beautiful, I love it. It's an Andrea Guarnieri copy. I want to show something for everybody, and it's about how can the instrument sound even better than the one you have right now in your hands, right? And even my cello can sound better. I borrowed it for a few concerts here in town and I got it back and I'm surprised how musicians give it back to me and then they probably sometimes they show up or they call me up, they write me emails, they sound, doesn't sound, and the sound, and the sound. They show up, I get the instruments in my hand and the first thing which I can see is the strings are dirty. You know, if you touch every time something, it's, it just catches the dirt and then, especially the bow, the rosin gets on the string and everything, but it's all dirty, you know? So then you can clean it and you clean the strings. I don't know how you clean them. The string is nothing else than it's vibrating like this, right? You would certainly feel it in your hands even that this is vibrating different, right? Same thing with the strings, you know? Ah, oh, you would say, oh, it sounds so great. It can sound even better, you know? But these strings are dirt collectors, let's call them today, okay? But the string is as just a piece of very thin, very regular metal. And then depending if it's a wolfram, a silver, a steel or whatever around it around and when it's pulling then these are going to open up a little bit now i don't want now to become here like a uh, scientist of strings and bacteria on the strings but it seems very clean right started to talk about years ago about microfiber and i thought it's all crap and then i thought all microfibers are the same as soon as you bought some at Amazon or somewhere, you will realize microfiber is not microfiber. Yeah? This is the best microfiber. And now I show you why I think that this one is so good. Yeah? Now the whole video actually is all about, yeah, Nina, can you give me one of these? Just strap it off. This is just kind of toilet paper. And we take this one here. This is just, yeah, yeah. You can take toilet paper, kitchen paper, whatever. Take it, it doesn't cost you anything and it's so cheap. And then I don't know how you clean off your dirt here, off your strings. I have also my own um, string cleaner. You, you want to see that one? Like this? Okay, I only use this one here. And this is not a joke, because I just don't love it. And you just get that what I'm using, okay? That's, that's the whole deal, okay? I don't uh, want you now. Huh? So I put a little bit on here. How you could see, I go away from the instrument and I don't do it in on top of the instrument because this is certainly a solvent. And with this one, I would now clean But I want just to show you, I uh, just to make only one strain because then I love to do it not with uh, this kitchen or toilet paper, but I want to do it with my microfiber. So now, this is what was with this kitchen paper towel on this A strain. Okay? Now, it's a kind of a solvent, a mixture of solvent, cleaning the spring. With this one here, you take off already a huge amount of it, but you also solve like the rosin, and then you put it in between of these layers of metal of the spring. So you're kind of like solving and kind of varnishing it with your dirt all over the string, and a little bit certainly stays on this one. Now, if you take my microfiber towel, which I just love because there's my name on it, but it's, it's written Edgar Approved. 
Yeah, and this is not nonsense, but it is actually because it is Edgar approved. And we put this now on a small corner because we don't want everything dirty. And now we go on the same string and we clean it again. Okay. And you're not in a hurry because you have to give it a little bit of chance to. You cannot. And this is a very thin straight, so you wouldn't even believe that it makes this noise. And this is what comes out after it has been cleaned with the other one. Okay? Now, with the same rag, I go and do now the whole thing. You can do all the other strings, and then you see how much comes out here. It's just incredible. And, uh... Now, the best thing about the whole movie is that I love the cellist, but it would be just so nice to hear the cello before cleaning it and then hear it afterwards. If you do it at home, with your violin, viola, double bass or cello, you will check it. For me, this is just one string here, which is incredible. Then you let it dry. You let me know what is your result and what you can hear. If also in your case, it sounds opener and clearer or if your instrument sounds better with dirty strings just let me know i'm just so curious you know and my thing here my small tiny bubble which lasts for 10 years probably only use it on the strings never touch the varnish it's not for cleaning the instrument this is a different issue i will show what i'm using okay but this is just for the strings okay and it definitely sounds better afterwards, okay? Give it a little bit of time that it's completely dry, that you, you know, nothing is on, okay? And then you can play again. Yeah. And you will see that even the bow sticks better to it. This one down below, you will find it in my online store. You can purchase this and I will ship you. Push this subscribe button and if you like it, tell your friends they should do as well and to push the subscribe button. Okay. I hope that I will give, get a lot of response of how it sounds now. Violin, viola, cello, double bass. This is for all string, bow, string instruments. Great. And let me know. See you next time. Bye bye.